Hello? I'm Preston Foster. Coming your way with another episode of Waterfront. time and energy for nothing. Don't you, Dad. They'll have to go back, Carl. If it was up to them, he'd be at the bottom of the harbor with a bullet in his head by now. Maybe. Maybe they rigged this setup. Get us to rescue him, take him ashore, and he disappears. Do wrinkle and smuggling. Dad, he's starved. If you send him back, they'll probably finish the job. A sick rattlesnake is still a rattlesnake. Besides, we don't have any authority to hold him. The law is entirely on their side. I'm not getting tangled up in it. Compliment you, Captain, on your brave capture of that criminal. Criminal? Of course. He's undoubtedly guilty of serious crime for which he seeks to escape. Despite that, we will find out when we question him. You don't know? How could we know? His presence aboard our ship was so recently discovered. Stowaway? Yes. And now, if you have no objections, we will take him. Well, I... Take him. Thank you, Captain. Aranya. seen the way he gobbled up those tamales. Never seen a guy so hungry. Uh, now that we have him, what are we going to do with him? The question is, what are they going to do with us? You think they've reported us? Port Warden Fuller's probably got a reception committee on the dock waiting for us right now. You mean you think they'll arrest him? All of us, probably. 
And what'll they do with him? Send him back to the Gorky with apologies. You can't let him do that, Dad. He's been through enough. Besides, he thinks he's safe. And I better disillusion him. Take the wheel. I'm going below. How about some more coffee? Coffee? How's the patient? Ah, oh, he's big enough, Captain. All he needs is a couple of weeks of rest, some good home cooking, and most of all, a few kind words. Isn't that my sweater? Uh, that's your old one, Captain. That's the one Mrs. Harry gave you for your anniversary. My anniversary was just two weeks ago. Yes, sir, that's the one. Hey, uh, fellow, you, uh, understand English? Speak English? Yeah, just give us a look. Give us a the book. How are we going to make this guy understand? The stowaways have to go back to their own country. We've got laws in America. America. Look, we push. Now we must show what you and what America. Then I'll ask him to slow. Then I'll ask him to slow. We're going to get started soon. But I'm afraid. I'm afraid he won't get back to America. And now I'm here with you, paying for your services. Then I'll ask him to thank you. But if he's that good, then for good luck, we can pay him for everything. I don't know what to say to them. I know it would all have been a lot better off if we'd minded our own business. Uh, you're wrong. Nobody on the dock. Not a... Uh-oh. Yes, there is. Please? I'll say. Look. Jim, wouldn't you know they'd send your brother? You know, Carl, I'm beginning to get a little soft. Why? Well, that guy below is beginning to get me. He's really on the level. Maybe we ought to give him a little help. Take it up with Jim and the police later. Someone kidnapped a stowaway. Is that so? Come on, I'll buy a cup of coffee and tell me about it. I haven't got time, Dan. You knew where that freighter was from. The stowaway could be dangerous. And for your information, smuggling aliens is a pretty serious offense. The harbor warden's pretty well steamed up over it. If there is a stowaway, considering where that ship is from, you couldn't blame him for trying to bust out, could you? Dan, that's not the point. If this stowaway starved and risked his life to get here, it'd be kind of rough on him to send him back, wouldn't it? Dan, I've got orders to bring him in. I gotta search your tug. Would you take my word for it? Would you give it? Yeah, if it would make you feel any better. I give you my word, there's nobody aboard the chair I am with the crew. Okay? Okay, Dad. Hello, Carl. Hi. aren't written in books, you know. Sometimes your own conscience can steer you pretty straight. Besides, I told him the truth. The man isn't on this tug. Come on, let's get him. Oh, she, dear. Mrs. Kelly asked me to take care of her while they're on vacation. Oh, I see. Uh, Are you home so early? Well, I, uh, I, I got a little surprise for you. See, um, oh. we, uh, we, we have a guest. A guest? Well, who? Where? Um, honey, I, uh, I want you to meet Mr. Uh, 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 
this is my wife, Mrs. Harry Cat. Hello. I give up. I don't know his name, and he doesn't understand English. But we got to keep him here with us until I can figure out something to do with him. Is the guest room okay? Well, I, I really don't. I. Go ahead. We got to get you cleaned up. You brought home strayed before. Everything from waterfront panhandlers to a baby octopus. I never said a word, but this is different. Oh, well, honey, I just thought that I could... Oh, maybe he's running around trying to poison people's minds, or even stealing atomic secrets. He's just a guy that needs a little help. Wait till he gets out of the bathtub. He'll look a lot better to you, then. Bathing in our bathtub, living in our house. For the 50th time, I tell you... That's not... what he tells you. He didn't tell me anything. He can't speak English. Well, then how do you know what he is? I don't. All I know is what he isn't. Why would he be wearing a St. Christopher medal? Is that his? Yeah, dropped off him when they were trying to pull him off the tug. Now, do you believe me? I don't know. I mean, I do believe you, John, that you're doing what you think is best. But this may be a plant. He's just probably picked this up somewhere. Well, we don't know anything about him, even his name. Yeah, that's right. Say, what about Captain Kaseva? What about Captain Kaseva? Well, he's Polish. He understands the language. Why don't we invite him over for supper? He's in San Francisco, visiting his married daughter. No, he's back. I saw him yesterday. How about it? Shall I call him? Well, all right. If you'll let me call the police. The police? Not now, dear, later. Just in case your friend isn't as honest as you think. I've never questioned John's instincts before, Gus. You know that. But he's only guessing about this man. He could be anything. John doesn't realize how much he's taking into his own hands. Whether well, this could cost him his license, or could even be in jail. If man is Polish, I will know it. And besides, I have the contacts with the proper authorities on such matters. If there is trouble, we'll take care of it. Oh, that's a relief. Ah, uh, good. Captain Jean should rescue stowaways more often, so I would enjoy more of his lovely wife's cooking. Oh, thank you. Well, there he is. He doesn't look like he came to blow us all up now, does he? Let's have supper, dear. Um, Gus, I'd like you to meet, um, well, uh, I don't know. Przyjemnie mnie znać was, przyjacielu. Jestem kapitan Guzela, wasz rodak, ale już od dawna w Ameryce. Polak. Dziękuję Bogu, że pan rozmawia po polsku. To są szlachetni ludzie, a tak dużo dla mnie urobili. Gdybyś chciał powiedzieć, a podziękować, ale oni mnie rozumią. Nie spieszcie się. Macie jakieś papiery przy sobie? Tak jest. Jestem Paweł Zaworowski z Gdańska. Paweł Zawodowski. Zasłużone nazwisko, znam je dobrze. Byście walczyli w podziemnej organizacji. Tak jest. Jest Polish, eh, Gus? Yes, jest Polish. And if his claims are true, he's a very courageous man who fought bravely against enslavement. But I still will investigate further to confirm his identity. You did well, Captain John, in saving him. Return would mean death. His name, Paul Zaplodowski, a known Polish patriot. I have read it in Polish-American newspapers and in reports and letters I received from the old country. You hear that, mate? Looks like he might be all right. Supper's getting cold. Yes? You're not afraid of my cooking, Mr. Sabla. Sabla? Sabladowski. Sabladowski. Have some more. shameful story we hear so often these days. Brutality, slavery. What these people suffer. 
The Nazis exterminated his father and mother when he was 16 years old, an orphan boy wandering over a ravaged country. The war ends, bringing new conquerors. Arrest, the slave labor camps. The last, in freezing Manchuria. It was a seaport. He never learned its name. But the ships, it was the ships that gave him the courage to plan an escape. He began hoarding bits of food from his starvation rations. And one night, when the guards were not as alert, he stole aboard the Gorky, not knowing where the ship might take him, to be in America. He believes God guided him here and sent you to save him. I almost didn't do it. How old is he, Gus? Ile Machilat. Sijesh. He's 30 years. 30? But he looks so... Is there anything wrong, dear? Captain there. Oh, yes. Uh, Captain Kaseva and a friend. Uh, your dad had some business with him. I guess they had to rush off suddenly. Oh, I see. Uh, but, Jim, I... Oh, hello, Dad. Hi, Jim. All right, where is he? Where's Zeus, huh? You know who I mean, the stowaway. Well, which one? We've had a, quite a few of them lately. Of course, it's always worse in the summer when kids get in to see the world. What's the stowaway's name? We don't know his name. Then how do you know there is one? Dad, this is serious, believe me. The officer from the Gorky are down at headquarters right now, filling out a complete report of the incident. They're charging you with everything from abduction to piracy. The officers from the Gorky, huh? Well, considering who they are, if they're really telling the truth, this must be quite a historical moment. You know, I thought I brought you two up better than this. Oh, Dad, the harbor warden wants to see you. He gave me this. Warrant for my arrest, huh? Well, let's say the warden has a new uniform. He'd like to have you come down and see if you approve of his new tailor. Well, in that case, I'd be tickled to death. You know, that last uniform wasn't fit to be drowned in. Keep the coffee hot, will you, honey? We'll have a cup together when I get back. Uh, he wasn't on the chair of land, huh, Dad? No. How about the life raft? You didn't ask me about the life raft. John, there's no use denying this any longer. It's obvious you're hiding that man, and we want him. What man? Nobody seems to know him, but everybody wants him. Tell me who you're looking for, and I'll try to help. The stowaway you took on your boat. He belongs to us. He's a countryman entitled to our protection. Protection? My government will hold you strictly responsible. Nobody here means to offend your government, but we can't do the impossible. You know there isn't any stowaway. He lies. Ships of your country are too perfectly operated to permit such a thing. With you and your fine officers, it just couldn't happen. Our ships and our officers are superior. Of course. It would be impossible to have a stowaway aboard. But if there was one, and you and your capable officers let them slip through your fingers... Nonsense. It's nonsense to imagine anybody would want to escape from you or your country, but if some man did get aboard the Gorky, outwitted your officers, got ashore, and... You know where he is. If you keep on insisting he exists, we'll have to go on with the search. And, of course, inform your government. Our government? Naturally. You've registered a complaint. The reports must be sent to your embassy and the information forwarded to... No. Of course, if all this happens, you gentlemen will be given the fine military funerals to which your rank entitles you. But why worry about such things when we all know there wasn't a stowaway in the first place? Isn't that right, Captain? Was there or wasn't there a stowaway? There was no story. Our apologies. Perhaps. Will that be all, Warden? Not quite. I'm 
I'm not adverse to a little blackmail as far as those birds are concerned, but that stowaway's still at large and we've got to account for him. Where is he, John? As long as that ship's in the harbor, there's no stowaway. You have no evidence or witnesses to prove otherwise. How long do you think you can get away with that? I don't know, till we get rid of that freighter. Say, uh, about 3 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. Good night, Warden. Jim. Come on, Dad. been looking for him and not a trace. He must be in town. Herrick's hiding him someplace. Get out and find him. Jim, bring in that father of yours. If he thinks he's gonna run this port... You are looking for me? Where is he, Herrick? Warden, this man's a police refugee, not an enemy. He's just a poor guy praying for a break. Before I turn him over to anybody, there's one thing I want to know. After he's investigated, what happens? Does he get protection or do you ship him back? If he's okay, I don't think they'll send him back. Good enough. Bring him in, Carl. Paul, everything's all right. These men understand they're not going to send you back. You understand? Captain Gruseva said that if everything went okay for his friend here, that, well, he has a large house, and since his last daughter got married, he's lonesome, so... That might work out all right, we'll see. You know, for a guy that just jumped off a ship yesterday, he certainly made a lot of friends. Say, uh, Carl, you better tell Gus to get him started on his citizenship papers. So long. Just a minute, John. As a matter of curiosity, would you mind telling us where you've been hiding him? At an all night movie. You know I've seen gentlemen prefer blondes seven times? Hey. May. Hello, dear. Oh, honey. It's all settled. The Gorky's gone and Paul stays. Oh, John, that's wonderful. He may even move in with Gaseva. Am I glad that's over? If anybody mentions the word stowaway to me again, I'll... Oh, John, I... It's funny how things happen to you. All of a sudden, out of nowhere, a problem. John. Yeah? We have four more. Four more what? Stowaways. Hmm? Mm-hmm. Come on. Look. Well, I'll be... The Kelly's dog. At least she could have told you when she asked us to mind her. What kind of people are they going away on a vacation when something like this is going to happen? Oh, Mrs. Kelly, didn't expect until next month, dear. Looks cute, aren't they? at 4.30, Arnold and Dudley are scared to death by bullies on different strokes. Then at 5.30, Charlie turns class clown to teach Eric a lesson on Head of the Class. Right here on Channel 50, WPWR-TV.